Welcome to this tutorial about building something that you probably have seen about a hundred of times. What could it be? As the title suggests, we are going to build a GDPR compliant cookie system, if you can, uh, can uh, name it as such. Therefore, we are going to configure the cookie policy options. So that's here the options pattern. Now here, over this uh, action lambda, we can configure the cookie policy options. We are going to rename it to consent cookie. So that's the name of the cookie that is going to indicate if the consent has been given by the user. The consent means that we can write non-essential cookies to the user's browser. Uh, the specifications uh, are from the GDPR thing. Now, to make this work, we here have to use the cookie policy options. Or, yeah, use cookie policy. Now, I am somehow have to write the cookies. Therefore, I am going to make them describe, make the controllers routable or the endpoint routing thing. Going to create a new folder, call it controllers. Here, create a new controller. I call it the cookie controller. Going to delete the API here so that the route is a bit uh, simpler. Now, in this component, we will do three things. The first thing, it, it has no order now. The first thing is we are going to write an essential cookie. An essential cookie is a cookie that without the application can't work. And an authentication cookie is an example for it. I call it essential. Because the default is essential uh, is uh, is false. So if we want to specify that uh, a cookie is essential, we have to manually uh, create a new cookie object, cookie options object. Now here on the response cookies, we are going to write a cookie as you would expect. I call it essential, essential cookie. Now the value will just be a new GUID. And we will pass the options. So just to be clear, by default, the is essential property is set to false. And because we want to here create an is an essential cookie, we have to configure it manually. Now oh, here the brackets are missing. Now I'm going to create a second action. This action is going to set a non-essential cookie. We will just Delete this because, as I've told you, is essential is false by default. And yes, we just have the squiggle list because we don't await anything in here. And here we are making an action with the route consent over which the user can grant consent for all types of cookies. Now, we have to retrieve the eye tracking consent feature out of the request, which uh, yeah, you can compare it just to, to read the, the tracking consent cookie. Now we make a little check. If we 
can't track. Can't track is a property that just indicates if the consent has been given. So if the consent hasn't been given, then we are going to grant consent. This method is just going to write the, the cookie for us, which we have uh, configured in the in the startup CS file, and we are making a redirect. Now, of course, you could also um, have an option here to revoke the the, the consent and, and this kind of things. So now we are building a thing that you have seen uh, a hundred of times, and we are doing this here in main layout. Here, I'm going to create the alert. Uh, how are we going to start it? Uh, let's just say info. Uh, give or grant consent to set cookies. Here, I'm going to build a link, which links to our uh, grant consent action, which we have in the... Ah. So here, now we have it in the cookie controller under consent, I think. Yes. Call it accept. And then start it real quick. Now the question is, uh, if we leave it at that, we will display it every time, even if the user has already given uh, us consent. So somehow we have to check if the user has given us consent or not. Now for this, I go to the host uh, Razor page. Uh, in here, this allows us to read the HTTP request. Now, here I'm going to say param type. I have to specify it later. Oh, wait, it's not param type. It's a... So param just indicates you're passing a parameter or argument. And here constant given is the name of the parameter. Now here I have to retrieve the constant cookie once again, get I tracking consent feature and then we are just checking if the user has content so we are passing an argument of type pool to the uh, to the uh, app component now somehow in the app component we have to retrieve this value define a new parameter type pool and the name is consent given now we have to pass this value to the children, we just do this by specifying a cascading value. I won't name it. If you won't name the cascading value, it just goes uh, by type. So uh, what does this mean? It goes by type. We have one cascading value of type bool. So if I go into the main layout and here define a property pool, pool uh, with the attribute cascading parameter, it will just look uh, it will just take the, the boolean that we have uh, registered. Now here bool, and just going to name it consent given again. And here I'm going to check if consent given is false, then you are going to present the user the opportunity to grant us content. Now I think it works. Let's have a look. So we are here. We don't have a consent cookie yet, but I won't. Uh, let's just leave it at that. You get the idea. Uh, now I will manually go to the controller cookie. How is it called? Cookie and then essential. Uh, Okay, I misspelled it. Okay, the essential cookie can be set even if you don't expect accept uh, 
the cookie banner here. Now I go to the non-essential one. Now this should be... Now, you have seen, I went to the non-essential controller and we couldn't set the cookie. Just so you see it a bit better, I will do it with a breakpoint. So cookie non-essential, we arrive here. Going to continue and no cookie has been set. Now I'm going to accept grant consent to, to set cookies. The banner goes away and we see here our essential cookie. Oh, okay, yeah, we just see here the consent cookie that has been set because we have accepted it and the essential cookie. And now if I go to the non-essential cookie, we should be able to set it as well. Uh, cookie non-essential, why can't we, oh, yeah. Here I made a mistake, I have to call it non-essential cookie. Okay, let's just retry it. Okay, I've had, I've uh, granted consent, so we don't see the consent banner. I just restart all. So we start cookie essential, we can write it, essential cookie, cookie non-essential, we shouldn't be able to write it, no. Now accept, we have here the consent cookie, go to cookie non-essential and we should be able to write it, yes. Here you see the non-essential cookie and the banner here has gone. Thank you very much for your attention.